did that. They did go behind, um, chaps. So we go back to the, the, the second half of, of normal time there. Um, a real penalty, which we're going to see, see now that, uh, why it was awarded. Um, there was a little bit of doubt before this uh, whether Bale handled the ball. Anything yeah. in that? Yeah, yeah, it looks like half on his shoulder, maybe. I don't know, it's a hard one with that angle. But we don't see a, a clear view of it. Prior to that, Juan Fran is, is, um, he's got his hands all over Benzema. And then he loses, he, he doesn't know where he is and he panics and he doesn't know where Benzema is and he, he just panics. And that's where the arm comes up. Mm. I think we thought we'd, we'd talk about the penalty as well in here, Ramos taking it. Would you not want, doing a bit of a Conor McGregor there as well. <laughs> yeah. But you, would, what would you want there? Would you want Ramos. Bale or, or Benzema? Bale's supposed to be see, the man now, stepping up to take the penalties and he wasn't. See, see what Marcello does there. It's, but it's criminal. <laughs> it's criminal. Trying to keep this ball in play. It's gone out for a throw in for you. He tried to keep it in play. Why? Do it up the other end when you're attacking, not there. And uh, it's inexcusable. He was he was responsible for one of the goals tonight, mm. and and Ramos for two. And this this game mattered. They played as if it doesn't matter those two. At times, they were guilty for three of the goals they conceded. So pro so problems for Real. Okay, obviously life after Ronaldo. That, that is a problem. Yeah, that, it could that, be easy. Tommy, their football tonight. I don't know if you agree, Kevin. That football is as good as what they were playing last year. But they didn't have the X factor. You know, the guy, the guy who can get the goals from the games are so tight. Is, is this a, a personality thing, Graham, or um, just a, a tactical thing, or you know, is it? Is it's it the a quality whole... thing. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with their football. I think Courtois will improve them greatly. I think sloppy play on, on certainly on three occasions, if not four occasions, that led to goals against Real Madrid tonight. The, the quality of football is good enough. But I come back to it, the, the tight games, the games, you know, we expect your special players to be the difference. They've just got rid of the special players they've had for the last best part of a decade. He's, he, he's separate, he was separated games like this. He was the one that did something special. In I will come like back this. to that penalty though as well. Yes, Ramos finished the penalty well, but where is Gareth Bale taking on that mantle? Where is he puffing his chest out and saying, look, I want this penalty, I ain't going to be the main man this season. That just... I think that that is a message there that mm, they are going to miss Ronaldo. We, we're going to miss that, that that real strutting figure yeah, just, um, yeah. up front. Do you think that Florentino Perez sitting up there is thinking I need to go and sign another superstar here because he, he I know thinking, it's too early to make another manager in two months. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't draw conclusions in one game. But we asked before the game: Will Bale? Will Benzema? Yeah, will was, was Isco? Asensio step up? So down? many times today, uh, Tommy, particularly in the second half, in extra time, there was there was absolutely no threat to Atletico Madrid's backline. Ronaldo, even if he's out of games, he will continuously demand from others, demand the ball from others, trying to get in behind. And I just felt as though Benzema tonight, playing as the striker. Kept on coming too deep and looking towards, uh, coming towards the ball, no threat in behind, and that is where they'll miss him. In the tight games, how many games can you think back in the past where Ronaldo has done something ridiculously good? That's won them a game. That's got them in front when they're under the cosh, maybe. He, he was a unique player, and and I see this Real Madrid team having a difficult season. I really do. I think, yeah, the football's good enough. And three quarters and of the pitch, when you get into the, the, the bit that matters, they don't have what I call the X factor. People talk about, I think Dave mentioned it in commentary, that at times last season they weren't actually that impressive in a lot of games that, that we would have watched them. The so does fine. he have to go in now and actually say, lads, I know you're the Champions it's League holders, but we've got to change things, I'm going to bring in a new style of play. Does he have a mandate to do no, that? No, he can't, no. no. He'd be out of a job, they would get him out of a job quicker than Perez would. This is a ridiculously difficult dressing room to manage. You, you saw it there, what you've touched on, Ramos taking a penalty. Who's going to challenge Ramos in that, in that dressing room? What well, one of the strikers is in? Strikers take hmm. penalties, not centre halves. He wants to be a, you know, you see what Ramos says. At times he can be fabulous, at times he can just be a bit of a showman.